What's going on guys? It's your boy Troy here and today guys I am gonna be doing a story time video on the time I pulled the fire alarm in school. <sighs> oh yeah, let's get started. So I was in the third grade. I think we had just came from lunch. But you know, after certain certain classes used to be able to like No, that's how how do you say it? Normally, after you eat lunch, you go have recess outside, you know, play on the playground, swing, slides, all that. But this particular particular day, we did not. And I had, I wanted to go outside. I wanted to get fresh air. I was tired of being in that building. It wasn't like we were testing or anything like, like state testing. No, it was just like a regular day. Just, we didn't go outside for some reason. I don't know if our, if our, if our, if our class was in trouble for something. But I just remember we did not go outside at all that day. So, what I did was, well, I'll just show you. And that's what I did. And they, of course, lied on me. Of course, they lied on me. Um, when the when the alarm went off, everybody, my teacher, my teacher, Miss Petrick. P-Track, Miss P-Track, P-Track, Miss P-Track, yeah, P-Track, what kind of a name is that? Miss P-Track, if you're watching this video, mm, for exposing, for wondering who did it and then letting the class know who did it, mm, I hate you. She was like, who pulled the fire alarm and then the entire class said, the, this is what the entire class said, I'm gonna show you. Who pulled the fire alarm, children? Trayvon, Trayvon, Trayvon. So... Um, of course I was mad because I was like, because when the front, when we was going downstairs, I said, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. And then everybody said, yes, it was, it was you. I saw you, you didn't see, sh you ugly. I actually didn't say that I would have gotten written up and my butt beat as soon as I got home for sure. But I just said it wasn't me and we walked outside as normal. And my friend Aaron at the time, this little white, white kid, I don't know. This little white kid asked me, why'd you do it? It's our lunchtime. And I said, well, you're just going to have to wait. And it's surprisingly how I remember every sentence from when I got to the point where I got home. This is just until, this, I'm still in school at this point. Uh, so we go outside, we do our normal schedule procedure. No fire trucks came because I guess the word got around while everybody was going outside. Like, he didn't tell your teacher. He didn't tell your teacher. I think Miss Johnson was my principal. She, Miss, no, Miss Croker. Miss Croker was my uh, principal. Miss Johnson was my other principal at my other school. And I tell you, if that <laughs> see this video, well, if I see you in the street, I'm getting, I'm, run up. Run up. Don't worry, don't work, don't question me why I did this. Just know, run up, okay? So, uh, we, we did our normal procedure. We went back inside, and then I don't know how much long later they, my parents came up. Okay, they called me down to the office, uh, and I went this. I went in my principal's office, and I just pretty much told him I didn't do it. Innocent till proven guilty in the court of law. Do you have substantial video evidence? No, I didn't really say that, but I just, they just, they were. My dad was sitting, sitting just like this. And my mom was sitting like this. So I knew when I got home, it was going to be bad. Now, they didn't take me out of school for the rest of the day or for, like, when they came down. No, they let me go back to class. And then at 3 o'clock, it was go time. Trust me, when I got home, my dad, we'll get to that later. But, yeah, I went in the office, really didn't say much, came and went back to class. Now... Let's get to the point where I, where it was the end of the school day and my mom came up to get me. My dad wasn't there. My dad was at home cutting grass because I remember this part as well. I was, uh, I was, I was, the bell had just rang, right? The bell had just rang. And instead of me going outside like normal, I got called to the office. Or I don't think I, I, don't think I got called to the office. I just, I went outside. I saw my mom was there. And we went back inside the school. And then behind the, the behind the nurse's office, there was a little security room for, like, the security guards to go in. 
that has the like the little security camera CCTV footage on the monitor and they played it back the thing is the camera angle they showed wasn't the one where you could see me pulling it uh, it was another camera angle that was on the same floor but it was on the other side of that little hallway so and it was a wall my teacher's wall my teacher's room's wall was blocking it so you really couldn't see me unless they flipped the camera to where the camera was now yeah that happened and then we went upstairs after school was over we went upstairs and they said pull show us how it and i'll be right back after this short message so after school we went upstairs and they the the, the what's his name the janitor said show me how it was tripped or i tripped it and i just stood there like i don't know i didn't do it okay innocent to proven guilty in the court of law i didn't actually say that but i was thinking it um so then we, me and my mom left, we went home. I went to bed, actually. I didn't plan to, I tried to watch TV, but my, t my like I had, I, I had a TV box in my room. I couldn't watch it, that my dad locked everything because he was really mad at me. So when I came home, I just went to sleep. At least I thought I could. As soon as I got home, I heard the door open and he comes to my room yelling, screaming, and just, Boy, what did you do that for? I'm, just, I'm like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, of course, he doesn't believe me because he thinks I do everything in life. So, Dad, if you're watching this, really, wow. Um, I got a butt whooping for a good few minutes, sir. It was the best time of my life. And then they suspended me for 10 days. And then after I went, and then in order for me to go back to school, I had to go to trial or court, as you want to say. It wasn't like a real court with a real judge. It was just like I had to defend myself from being guilty or else they was going to expel me so i was i i um they finded me not guilty lovely and i went back to school and then i and i then i failed fourth quarter because i had no pencil so yeah and that is time i pulled the fire alarm in school hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys want another story time just like this let me know in the comment section down below and uh yeah We'll do it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.